Hey guys, so I'm pulling the mill apart, trying to strip it down and get it cleaned up, uh, all the rust off and then repainted. Um, I was going to show you, I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find any videos and I looked online I couldn't find any videos on how to pull this head. Uh, this is the Wells Index 645 mill, so I just thought I would kind of show you guys and that way you'd know if you have to pull one. So let me flip the camera around. Okay, so this is the head right here. That's the ram, and it was connected on there. Um, it has four bolts, like, as you can see here, little T style bolts that go inside here. There's a hole in the back that you can slip this bolt through. And then goes to where you know the, the four spots so basically what you do on the back I'll show you the back let me walk over here trying to get this done it's tight in here okay so on the back of the mill you have four nuts and washers one here one here and then two on the other side exactly the same Right here is the um, worm gear drive to tilt the head. Uh, where's that? Oh, here, let me see. Sorry, I just kind of did this spur of the moment. So there's the worm drive, and it fits right inside there. So I figured out the way to pull the head. If you have a hoist, that's great. I just don't have room for a hoist, so what I did is I put several blocks of wood under here and I raised the table up. I tilted the head sideways, raised the table up, it supported the head, and then after I got the bolts loose, or after you take the the nuts off of here, the, the bolts are still attached to the head. So what you do is to take this out, there's a little Allen set screw right here. You gotta take that out. It's, uh, it's about an eighth inch set screw, some, something like that. Everything on here is standard size or imperial. So um, this, and then you have this keeper right here. So this screws in. Let's see if I can get this to go down a little further. It's kind of dirty in there right now. I haven't cleaned anything out. But anyway, so that's in there. This keeper's in there. That screws down, and then there's a set screw holding it. So you take the set screw out, you unscrew this, pull this out, and then this worm gear pulls out like this. You can see it's really dirty. It needs to be re-greased and cleaned and everything. So then once you pull that out, all these are loose. I left one nut on here just in case because I didn't know what was going to happen. So I turn this sideways, like I said, I put some boards under it, I raise the table up to hold the head, and then I used the Y-axis right here. Let's see if I can do a wide, hold on. There you go. So after I got the head pulled off, um, I used this, and then I just move the table in and out and so what it is I moved it out and it slowly pulled the head off the ram and then you're all set so the next thing I was going to do take these bolts off and then separate this and clean it up but yeah so it's it's getting there it's slowly and unfortunately I can't find any uh, manuals or service manuals to tell me how to do this so I kind of have to go slowly and, and uh, carefully but yeah so all this can be cleaned get all the rust off all the chips out you can see right here these weren't chips from bolts these were just chips that were in the machine from years of use so um, worm gear is good inside there is good I can't really see it but anyway so yeah once you get this off you could, oh, somebody's in the car. Once you get this off, you can lower the table all the way down to a manageable height. 
put this on another table or whatever you want. It's pretty heavy, but it's manageable if you can pick up heavy stuff. Um, and then to put it back on, I'm just going to put it back on here, raise the table up, um, turn this, and then just turn the crank and slide it right back in. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys. Like I said, I had a booger of a time getting this off because I couldn't find any directions, but I got it. And one of these nuts, let me put it back on regular. Okay, so one of these nuts right here was completely stripped when I was trying to pull it off. Um, you may run into that. And so what I did is I got a, uh, let's see, where is it? Here it is. Went to the local auto parts store. I got a nut splitter. Actually, I busted this little screw right here in the process, but I'm going to drill that out, tap it, and put another a larger screw in that's better. But I did manage to get the nut broken off and got it off there. So I'm going to be ordering uh, all new studs and all new bolts, or all new studs and all new nuts and washers for the RAM. Um, so far, this part. These up here look good, but we'll see. I may just order all eight just to be safe, but anyway. Like I said, I hope this helps. Um, this is an index 645 vertical mill, and this is the head. So if you got any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to answer what I can. I'm kind of learning in the process. All right, take care, guys.